Hello my friends and welcome back to Chef a Restaurant Tycoon Game episode 3. I'm Icon and today is the make it or break it day because we're either going uh, bankrupt today or we're going to um, manage to get into the green numbers. So we're going to do one thing to begin with and that's uh, spending my influence points because I realized last episode that um, I really should do that. So where's the map again? There's the city map. So here's my uh, restaurant ad, the little one here. And uh, since I have a big interest in getting lower class family people into my restaurant, I'm going to make some uh, influ influence. Um, I'm going to use some influence next uh, next over here to draw some people over into my quadrant. All right. Apart from that, last episode I also managed to draw the attention of the lower class families to me. So they consider um, my restaurant having acceptable prices, but there's still the problem of the ambience. So I'm going to try and uh, sell away a few more things which are having the uh, rustic ambience. And uh, we're going to increase the uh, elegant ambience a little bit because that's actually what the people here want to see. So, since I'm so damn hard out of money, <laughs> I'm going to uh, install a few more classic sideboards here after selling the old, the other stuff. There we go. So these thingies are quite expensive, but uh, let's check it out. Um. I think I'm not able to really increase the uh, attractivity much further with ambience, so let's keep going. Let's see. There's all cheapskates coming into my restaurant. I mean, if I look at the menu, I'm quite okay with that. I think uh, menu-wise, I don't want to twiddle around too much today. I really just hope that we're able to uh, attract a few a few better paying customers and uh, pray to God that everything will go fine. Or we're out of business after this episode and going to restart properly during the next one. What I've learned during this episode, oh there's my uh, first uh, person of a lower uh, family, lower class family. What I learned is that I might have aimed for a way too large restaurant to begin with because uh, I'm now not using the rooms, uh, the, the floors capacity and uh, yeah so basically a smaller restaurant would have done the same thing and had and would have had a uh, lower um, rent as well so we're here slowly making progress so what's that shouldn't be happening. What's wrong? So... Do I have somewhere a uh, mistake in my calculations? But it doesn't look like that. So, just want to double check because it's the last day that we can actually do something before we die. So, no. Um... I think I'm paying the recipe, the the um, ingredients of the recipe up front, and I'm getting the money after they are served. I think that's how the system works. But we're getting a lot more um, customers today, and let's uh, check out the reviews. It's a good place, says somebody from the lower class family, and uh, they didn't like the atmosphere too much. All right, cheapskates are not too interesting for me. I'm really interested in the uh, reviews of the better paying clientele. I know that's a little bit mean of mine, but I don't care. So what do we have next here? Cheapskate, well, cheapskates think my, uh, my restaurant is too uh, costy. I know that. All right, Tanya and Avi are really uh, having enough work today. A good one too. Just hope that they're not going to burn out. So you gotta be uh, paying attention to their energy ratings here too. So I have lots of ingredient points available. So what about uh, using that to uh, on 
on the uh, ingredients that I already have unlocked and I'm, or I'm actually using. So I have no idea what it really does to these things if I increase their level. That's something I really want to change. Uh, want to change up there. But until then, let's just say I'm specializing into the basics here. All right. So what does that change? So does it anything do in the uh, recipe editor? I mean. Our test recipe. So now my ingredients that I have a higher star rating upon, what does that do? I can use a higher quality of that rest of that ingredient now. Ooh. I see. So that does make a big big difference to have these uh, things up all right okay so that means as long as I'm cooking with basic ingredients I don't uh, I, I don't need to expect too much from the uh, actual recipes oh, yeah okay so um, myself I'm a little bit newish to this game too like uh, this is a uh, legit my first attempt on uh, playing in the sandbox mode here but at the same time I feel like uh, it's really nice to have a Let's Play series with an inexperienced streamer, you know, or gamer, because I feel like that doesn't uh, spoil it too much. Okay, so uh, the uh, lower class family people are really hating my atmosphere, but apart from that, they're quite happy. That's a good sign so far. Okay, cheapskates are still coming in this place, but uh, well, I'm not taking their opinions uh, too serious anymore. All right. I obey. My husband told me to review this place, so I did. Hope he appreciates. Wow. Broken people. Broken people eating at my eatery. Damn. What's going on here? So, apart from that, review-wise, decent. The restaurant was quite ugly to see. Yeah, we're working on that. Just leave enough money here and uh, we're working on that, okay? Okay. So for the cheapskates, my place is uh, becoming more and more too costy. It's a little bit sad, but I don't care. So we got now new experience points. Um, some editor perks will be available in the recipe editor for this. So let's uh, check it out and learn the new lasagna and uh, check out what I can do now differently about lasagna. So still a uh, made one of those so let's just uh, check it out all right intense to increase the quality okay to increase the quality you need one or more dairy type ingredient okay so uh, that's awesome this uh, this deepens this whole uh, thing even more so that means my I'm, I'm getting these basic recipes that are just uh, well okay ish to say it uh, friendly and then you get the uh, increased levels of the recipes which are uh, forcing you into more realism with the uh, recipes I guess if I understand that correctly um, the markers on the lasagna made sense to uh, how a lasagna works in real life so so the cheapskates are always having different opinions some of those menus are way too costly for they for their taste some of them they just really like but if these people are going out my place and are only muttering about it being too costly i don't care so what happened here this place is terrible our tablecloth is full of stains so and off you go i'm sad i i really would like to uh help them but uh I can't uh, I can't afford those 50 bucks to change the tablecloth because I'm not um, convinced that I'm earning the uh, the money to from that table to get those 50 bucks back so let's check out the menu the lower class family people are still not really going in here 
the blue collars are still uh, not really here and the foodies are having a 1% participation participation okay so let's see we have a uh, rent of 750 bucks for to pay and we have one so I'll need 890 bucks at the end of the day to survive well since uh, the day's shift is not over I think I think I'm having a decent chance of survival, as a matter of fact. Hey, look at that. The place is brim-filled with people. Nice. So I'm speeding up this whole thing. So... People are actually waiting outside now. Wow. So we're going to need more tables, that's for sure. So the cheapskates are really liking my interiors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not agreeing with them, but uh, that's another day's story. So before I buy anything further, I'm just uh, going to accept that today we're not reaching the full capacity here. But this uh, also puts me and the other people on the brink of exhaustion here. So um, that's not good. But that also means that we're going to have that I'm having enough um, work to uh, justify more personnel. So let's uh, just make sure that the other people are stopping to freak out. So uh, people are loving it so far. Awesome. And. Uh, For now, I'm going to toggle off um, the exhausted people completely. So they're going to take some break, you know. Isabel and Mark are going to uh, do that, I hope. Orders waiting to be cooked. So yeah, Mark is doing the job. Awesome. Because... Uh, I can't afford a mental breakdown on my uh, on my people here. We gotta be uh, um, spreading those jobs. Can't uh, toggle on these people. I guess because they uh... ah, I see. I can't just ah, I can't just manually toggle on the resting. I see. I see. Wonderful. That's a good feature. So, the cheapskates are positively surprised. That's good, that's good. So let's just hope I'll uh, survive another day. I couldn't ask for better waiters. Okay. But uh, it's looking good. I mean, uh, we're having 1,300 bucks at the end of the day. So I earned 1,000 uh, 1, out of food. Wait a sec, so we uh, had pretty nasty expenses with the furniture, but if I um, subtract the furniture, we should be on a uh, positive outcome tomorrow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change nothing for today. I'm just going to take uh, the day as it comes. We're having one more point of influence, so that's something I might be... Uh, considering using here for um, this here. So we're just going to just that. I, I don't know if I'm uh, understanding that correctly, how the influence works. I, to me, it looks like uh, the influence does uh, make a new restaurant over here stronger if I build one, but uh, we're going to see. A lot of things are still uh, question marks for me in this game, but uh, we're getting there. So spending skill points right now, it seems to me like uh, I don't need to do that. Mainly because uh, I seem to only need to spend skill points for um, these active skills that just, uh, or passive skills like cooking that just uh, decreases my um, times and such. Or I'll just store them until I really have a project going on. 
Honestly, that sounds a lot smarter to me. So, let's check out one more thing, and that's, uh... Where is it at? I've seen that. Stuff... Recipe Editor... Is that a new review? Decent restaurant, alright. So, calendar, that's also nice to know. We have weekend, alright. So, next month, ah, I see, there's also a, a calendar happening. So, restaurants panel, what can we do here? We're having the, uh, uh, the rent is extra expensive here, I see. I see, I see. People have a lot of skill points available. I should spend them somehow. So, uh, let's see. Basic speaking skills. Restaurant mapping. Okay. Fast writing. I'd say um, the other basics should be uh, taken from my personnel anyways. Alright, so... Uh, Okay, that's good to know. I'm going to specialize them later. Right now, I don't see any good reason to specialize them. Ah, I see. So the uh, outside cook doesn't have uh, any specialized skills like I do. Well, that makes sense. Okay, so let's see. Reviews are uh, a little bit uh, of a annoying thing in this game, if I'm quite honest. Okay, maybe I should look at like that. Maybe I shouldn't look at every uh, review um, when it comes in. So now let's hope that today we're just going to earn some good cash and uh, get tomorrow, um, get for the next weeks a little bit more of a plan on the on uh, going, because uh, I have a large restaurant and obviously. Um, we're, well, they're all just in the middle field, so people are, well, the most of the bad reviews come from cheapskates moaning about the high prices in here, that's uh, the biggest problem. So if I look at my menu, um, popularity level zero, I see, so Obviously, I can't um, attract higher category customers with my with my um, popularity level right now. Anyways, I think that's what's the game trying to tell me. So, might be that the cheapskates are thinking my restaurant is too costly, but I don't care what they think. So let's uh, put Avi to some rest for a few moments. Your popularity grows. You've made your first steps in the world of restaurants. Now you can brag about how at least a single person liked your place enough to come back a second time. <laughs> well, it's something, isn't it? Alright, so... Uh, we got a higher popularity rating now. Awesome. So let's see how that uh, influenced the people here. So, okay, we get more... Um, customers from other areas there. Okay, minor event. So what do we have here? What's this strange smell coming from the toilets? Um, yeah, then you go. Damn, these people are uh, bartering for the about the weirdest things. Oh, decisions. So once you will be popular enough, uh, okay, more than one restaurant. Okay, a thousand popularity. Ecoa kitchen furnishing. All right. So, I'll get new thingies here, and, uh, okay, I get, um, new furniture, so, uh, here, out of that event, if I, if I understood that correctly. Rank up, alright. My world chef ranking has increased. Awesome. So, uh, Rorden Gamsay is, uh, rank one. We gotta, we gotta beat that guy. <laughs> Oh man, roared and gamsing, seriously? That feels so weird. <laughs> okay, so let's check out uh, what kind of things we got there new. Ah, I see. 
the uh, there's a, a lot of unlocks now open that weren't open before oh yeah so going to have a look on that between the episodes maybe or at the beginning of the next episode for today um the utter survival of my restaurant is more my more of my concern because honestly right now i'm scared i'm severely scared about the future of this place but uh overall i mean with the uh, higher popularity i'll have higher chances of getting better uh, customers into this place so i'll earn more money per table that's good and uh in terms of personnel I think I could accommodate more tables, but I don't dare to uh, buy any new furniture before I've seen that uh, this place is uh, staying afloat now. That's just something I can't uh, stop myself from. I don't like to uh, spend money if I don't know if I'm even sustaining myself. So. But overall, we're uh, we're really good to go here. I have a feeling like everything is going really, really well here. So, the only thing I'd really like to have um, are a few more tables. Okay. So I don't really feel like the uh, review system adds up too much into the game. I'll just ignore them for now. Even though it makes me really... Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay, just click them away. Okay, so... Uh, damn. Not good. Not good at all. So uh, we're still... Um, in the negative, so... Imminent ba bankruptcy. Yeah, okay, but uh, I can manage that. I know what my problem is. I have way too much uh, rustic decor things. I can just sell off a few of those. Nobody will miss them. And apart from that, I'm going to just uh, add um, a few more tables today because I feel like I have um, all the resources it takes for that. So there we go. There's the money we needed, and let's just uh, invest into, into some more um, tables, and I think we are good to go. Because my main um, problem is a lack of, um, of customer capacity here, if you ask me. Because I have the person, I have stacked up the um, amount of personnel, but I didn't. Uh, stack up the uh, financial or, or the uh, actual firepower of the place. So there we go. Let's just hope we don't die today. Otherwise we're going to restart tomorrow. AKA next episode with a new place with a new idea. So maybe the 50% uh, rent plus um, was something I've taken too lightly, but now we have 44 uh, seats available, and maybe that'll uh, that'll help. I mean, we are able to um, satisfy all these people. So let's just see what today will bring. Unspent ingredient points. No thanks, I don't need to spend ingredient points. <laughs> well, it comes back. So, I'm going to leave those ingredient points for today. Because uh, if we survive today, I'm going to uh, do some things anyways. So, Alrighty. Maybe I shouldn't have brought um, the third member of staff there. So let's... I didn't mean to fire two of them. Minor event, oh no. So... They, uh... 
I'm some sort of celebrity and photogram and I can make some photos. Such a huge visibility boost should be more than enough to cover the check. No, thanks. <laughs> wow. That's, uh... That's really not cool. No, the star thingy doesn't disappear now. Okay. Whatever. I mean, there is no more event. Hmm. Nasty little bug there. Alright. But even if this is the end of um, Icon's eatery, um, I've learned enough to stay afloat with the next place I'll open up. I'll especially take more um, into consideration that uh, the rent is definitely something um, that I can't uh, ignore that much. I really, I really wasn't uh, sure how the money earning system in this game really works like, you know. But now I've learned a lot, and uh, the major problem of this place is this place. Like, um, with the low starting cap, um, starting funds that I have, it seems quite hard to uh, accommodate the necessary amount of customers every week. So, oh boy, this looks bad. So, uh, we fell even further, so that doesn't seem like I'm able to sustain myself. So I'm going to wait one more week because we had to... Uh, well, now we had you no know, things here. Cheap happens. Okay, we have a horde of cheap skates happening. So overall, yeah, this place is just too costy. That's the big issue here. That's the big, big issue here. This place is so costy. But let's see. Maybe we can survive another week. Not too sure about that, though. Last week's event really uh, grilled me. What? My ambience rating is now too low for lower class families. Now that, uh... So, ambience... Rustic 5.5... Elegance 6. I do have those. What? I don't understand why um, this uh, actually now happens that these people are not visiting my place anymore. Because uh, I have their minimums. So let's see if I add up another elegant item. No. If I add up another rustic item, that's really weird. Why are they not visiting my place anymore? Like that doesn't even make any sense. They did before and then they didn't. So uh, did I really kick out too many uh, items here? I mean, I'm dying anyway, so I might as well uh, um, die trying around what went, went wrong there. So, um, they're not coming back for whatever reason that is. So, um, I know it's a little bit, uh, yeah, so. I don't understand how to read this. Different customers, yeah, Ambience Rustic 9.5, Ambience Elegance 6. So, uh, how, to, how do I uh, have to read that? So I basically killed myself last week by removing those uh, decorations and not realizing that I X'd out my uh, necessary uh, customer um, group with that. Well, that's a pity. But lessons learned. So friends, I'm going to tune out on this episode. We're going to close down Icon's Eatery, I think, and we're going to reopen an episode four, a new place with the new lessons learned. I guess this this stands out as a uh, as a good uh, lesson about how customer groups work and uh, 
I really didn't expect that to happen. So the game's flow seems to be that I have to play around the cheapskates a lot longer than I wanted to. Yeah, you you get another plate, we're bankrupt anyway, so you guys can eat whatever you want for today. And this is the point where I say thanks for watching and Leave me a comment down below. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Episode 4, we're going to reopen a new place and hopefully fare a little bit better. I honestly expect it to go uh, down when the tutorial said um, at the end of the tutorial I got this message and now you can begin your cycle of bankruptcies. I, I actually expect it to fail and they, do, and they delivered. I, I like losing. It sounds weird, but I really like it when a game beats me. And this game has beaten me for the first turn. Anyways, friends, if you want to support this series, leave a thumbs up on the video. If you want to support me as a content creator, leave a little subscription in the corner down below. It helps a ton. So, what left is, what's left to say is have a wonderful time and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.